I am a pilot by profession. I fly combat helicopters, uh, specifically the MD-500 helicopters. Currently, I'm deployed uh, here in Doble under the Sector 2 at MIS-3. And uh, basically, as a combat pilot, we support our ground troops through aerial reconnaissance and also casualty evacuation and uh, when they are also performing their ground troop duties. Having uh, grown up uh, from a marginalized community, that is Trukana County, uh, going through school, I really aspired uh, to become an important person in the community. I was uh, challenged uh, by uh, seeing the other female who are in um, professions like uh, flying and other professions. So I aspired to join them. That uh, made me work really hard in school. And uh, after completing my high school education, I was uh, privileged to join the military as a cadet. After training at cadet school, I was uh, selected to join the Kenya Army Corps of Aviation, where I was trained as a pilot. And uh, that uh, f over the years, I've gathered uh, my experience in combat flying, and uh, that's why I'm here deployed for combat uh, flying. The MD-500 is a combat helicopter uh, with a sorted uh, weapon system and uh, we fly as frequent as the operation dictates. So it's not uh, time-based but uh, the operation directs how we fly. Uh, the key lessons we've learned is that uh, because of our training and nature of environment so we would say that it's expected that uh, we fly in a threat environment and uh, we always constantly look out uh, for the enemy and uh, support our troops and also support the host community in what we do. We interact with them because uh, they are our host here. We interact with them from uh, time to time and I think they look up to us. Seeing a female being deployed here is actually a motivation and we hope that many of them will aspire to join and also inspire the rest of the generation here as the host community. To all the young female, the most important thing is that I would tell them to go for what they believe in. I would tell parents who are the support system of this girl child, they should mentor them from a young age and give them that confidence so that when they are there, uh, they've grown up, they would have the confidence to grab any opportunity that comes their, their way. And they should understand that, that they are not limited by gender. Gender is not a limiting factor. As long as they study hard in school, they position themselves, they will get these opportunities. So they should go out there wholeheartedly, regardless of their gender. And also to the young generation, both male and female, they should just work hard and not limit themselves. I'm hoping for a Somali which will have uh, peace, flourishing peace, because uh, we know that uh, with peace, anything else grows. So the most important thing is peace. So I'm praying that they get this peace so that uh, the, the other generation, and most importantly their female, will grow and join uh, these uh, male-dominated fields. And uh, they should also look up to us and see what we are doing back in uh, Kenya and inspire them here. And that is why we are here. Thank you all for watching our videos.